Hey guys, Sinister here, and um, welcome back to another video. Uh, today it's actually going to be an addendum to my recently published sniper guide. The reason I've decided to do this is there's actually a lot of really cool tips and tricks that you can do as a sniper. Um, and I wanted to take this opportunity, opportunity just to do a very short video of some of the things that I do on a regular basis. Um, to just help me be more efficient um, in the area of operations and just last longer because as a sniper you can pretty much play for five or six hours and never get killed but the problem is you are going to run out of ammunition and that's very frustrating because you don't want to go back to base you want to be as effective as possible so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to show you a couple of tips and tricks and some things just to make you a bit better so the first one that i would suggest is um at the base there's actually a vehicle area um, at the back of the base. So you spawn here where the base button is. And if you just go through the building here behind the base, um, you'll end up in the car park where all these vehicles are. And what you can do is you can equip these vehicles to have different ammo types and different weapons and stuff like that. And so you can actually load them up so they have hundreds and hundreds of rounds of ammunition for whatever weapons you're using. And so for me, when I'm playing Sniper, um, I try to judge where the area of operations is as well. So you can see in this case, the area of operations is not that far. It's five, it's six kilometers away. So in a car, I'll get there in about two or three minutes. I don't need to be flown in if I don't want to. And all of these cars at the back of the base are free. Anyone can use them. So all you have to do is go over here. I personally use a hunter. The reason I use a hunter is because one, it's an armored vehicle, so it's quite hard to get shot out of it. Two, it's quite effective over roads and off-road. Obviously going up hills, it's not great. And it has a pretty large cargo capacity. So all you do is go to it, activate vehicle. I activate the hunter, I drive, and then in order to, so if you press I, it has um, a default loadout. So. This is just a standard loadout, it's pretty bad. But if I'm a sniper, I just wanna have sniper ammo, right? That's all I want. Because I just wanna be able to move from one area to the next. So in order to change your loadout, just go here. There's a there's a little bay here, and um, it's called, let me check, I think it's called vehicle service maybe, is what it's called. Uh, it's called inventory, sorry, it's inventory, and it's right beside the vehicle service area. So you just park, you go in here, you park your car, you get out, and then you, you go here, right? And you get a drop down menu and you go edit infantry. So you can edit inf inventory. And this is not just for sniper, by the way, this is for any role. I just do it for sniper because sniper is one of those ones where it's really dependent on ammunition compared to a lot of the other roles. So as you can see, I can put whatever I want in here. I have rifles, machine guns, sniper rifles, rocket launchers. So what I'm gonna do is I've already got a sniper loadout. So all I have to do is go load here, sniper and load so now what i can do is i can show you what's in here so i'm just going to get into the vehicle so i can show you um what has happened here so as you can see um i have a titan which is a rocket launcher and um, this is an anti-tank rocket launcher i have a titan compact which is an anti-air rocket launcher and then i have a verona which is a an auto tracking rocket launcher i have first aid kits i have different scopes um, I have Night Stalkers, I have some AA missiles, I have just different scopes, some smoke grenades, I have 20 more rounds of ammunition, I have a new bag, and I have some Lynx ammunition. The reason I chose Lynx ammunition is because um, I'm a, I have a Lynx, so I've put a Lynx in the vehicle. So if I, if I want to, then I can actually choose Lynx, I can put in my armor piercing rounds, and I can shoot through walls or light vehicles if I need to. But also, if there's another sniper with me on the map and he gets killed well i might as well pick up his weapon and use his ammunition so this just allows me to have further flexibility now this is what i personally use because like i said i use a night stalker this is a night vision scope this is another thermal scope smoke grenades to allow me to move if i need to this is just a practical loadout it just makes it easier for me as a sniper to stay on the map and then all i have to do then is drive to the area of operations choose a point that I want to snipe from and go there. All right, and the last tip I have for you, and this is an absolutely optional one if you want. However, I suggest 
you download the add-on called uh, or the mod called enhanced movement enhanced movement is a very simple mod that just allows you to do cool things like jump over walls or scale fences and stuff like that that's just not available in the default game the reason i suggest getting this as a sniper is because you can do this see this this crate here i can pr i can press my keybind and i can get on top of this so if you do not have this mod enabled you cannot get up here so imagine this crate was on the side of a building and on this build and then there was a roof here i would have gotten what 20 meters higher i can go prone i can equip my sniper rifle and i can shoot further distance away i'm going to show you a clip actually of me doing this um at the, at the end on I showed a clip actually of me doing this in my sniper video where you can see me climb up on top of a crate to get a higher vantage point of the area of operations. And if you have this add-on enabled, it, ena it allows you to do this. So a lot of people, they get they enable the add-on and then they're like, oh, why is it not working? Okay. So you actually need to set a keybind. The keybind is not actually defaulted into the game because it's an it's an add-on or a mod as we say so in order to do so you go to configure controls and then on your drop down you just scroll down to the bottom and there's what's known as custom controls and it's action one so for me i've changed this bind to left shift and e so what happens is is that when i go down here i can look up here and i can press left shift e and it's just get, it just enables me to get higher, but it enables me to do lots of cool things. So have a look, have a look at this um, this porta potty here, okay? So I'm going to scale this porta potty, but then I'm going to be able to get up on the roof of this building. So you can imagine how at different kind of points on the map it just becomes relevant. So I can now get up on this roof up here by pressing Shift and E, and I'm so much higher. And if I was on the ground there, I'm 20, 30 meters above where I was. And I have a much higher vantage point of everything around me. Highly recommend getting this add-on. It is completely optional. It is not compulsory on most servers. However, most servers do have it enabled as an optional mod that you can put on. And I highly recommend it because it just gives you a much better um, vantage point. But also it allows you to scale walls and fences so that things aren't in your way. So um, I'm just going to cut the video. But I'm just going to show you what I mean in one second. All right. So here's a perfect example of what I'm talking about. So let's say um, I'm in the AO and I've got someone shooting me from behind or I, I've got, I see someone on the other side of that fence over there. In the default game, I can't do anything. I can just run into this fence. However, with this add-on, I can scale this fence and suddenly, bang, I have an angle on my target. And so it just it's just a much better player experience. And as a, as a sniper, sometimes you just get caught in bad positions where you don't want to be. And this just enables you to climb fences and scale objects that you wouldn't usually be able to and hopefully escape a situation. Now, obviously this fence, bullets can penetrate this, but if it's a wall or a crate or something like this where the bullets can't penetrate, it's a huge lifesaver. It can be very, very important and it can really help you just navigate the terrain a lot more efficiently, a lot faster, and hopefully get away from a firefight you don't want to be in. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Really, really appreciate it. If you like this video or you like these addendums, please let me know in the comments and I'll be happy to do many more of them for all the other roles. Speak to you soon. Bye.